Hey everyone, Meteor Turtle here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing some more of the Outer Worlds. And I think what we're doing today is going to the what the black market. For some reason. Let's see. Okay, so it wants you to contact Gladys. Yeah, black market fence located on the groundbreaker. It's the only neutral station in the Helicon. Halcyon, sorry, Halcyon Colony. Alright, yeah, I need the nav key. Okay, so. Let's come over here. Hello! Look at that. So pretty. What is going on over there? Hmm. Is that the planet? I guess that's the planet we were just on. Looks nice from up here. Captain's chair. It's like a barber's chair. Okay. So let's see. We need to go... Here it is. Groundbreaker. Groundbreaker docking base. Destiny. Let's see. Welcome to the system map. Here you can see all the planets in the system, as well as some special points of interest you may have discovered. You can fly your ship to any location you have unlocked. Uh, though some landing bays require special codes and keys before they allow you to land there. Let's see, moving between planets is considered extremely dangerous and all employees are encouraged to remain home or at work. Okay. Mission reached. The Groundbreaker. There it is. There's the Groundbreaker. Pretty. Huh. So it's a pretty game. Okay. Yep, let's just run straight out here. Sure, what's up? Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson. Okay, what about her? I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston <laughs> beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. Okay, so sure. Uh, we get over to engineering now. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? Uh, did you want to talk about something else? Okay. Uh, sure, break time's over. Okay. Okay, transition. Okay, I was about to say, because we're not really... Can we do both? Yes, we can do both. Continue. We could do two companions at once. Interesting. So that's more like Mass Effect than hmm, a little bit of a whole bunch of different stuff in this game. What's up, Jane? Can I talk Smells to you, Jane? Like Just checking your ship's manifest. Standard procedure. Welcome to Groundbreaker, by the by. Huh. Don't mind the heat. That's not the point. This hack would just knock out one of my workers. Uh -oh. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. There weren't any witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying it. Jackass had it coming. Shut it, Felix. You're not making this any better. You get cute with me again, you little back bay brat. I will toss you out of the airlock. This is the groundbreaker, not Byzantium. You ain't the law here. I am. Now move along. Yeah, I don't have along. time for this. What's up, Felix? Stroll around the docking base? Absolutely. No, sure, in the middle of an argument there. Sure was. Got a knack for upsetting the board and the Mardettes all at once. Between you and me, I was hoping they'd come to fisticuffs. Mm hmm. Sure, you were. Like to hear your side. What happened? I had this foreman, right? Guy never liked me, always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? Be the bigger man, I tell myself. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the chosen beat my Rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. Mm-hmm. And that's when you resolved your differences like an adult, right? <laughs> that's sure. when I broadsided him with a tossball stick. Yeah. Look, like this was a like long time adult. coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman, and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. Hmm. Got any plans? Enjoy my freedom. Scrounged together enough bits for a zero G. Other than that, can't say as I do. Hey, not for nothing. 
but I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. Wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? Sure would. That's me, Captain of the Unreliable. Captain of the Unreliable. You're like something out of a serial drama. Hey, I don't want to talk your ears off, guessing you got places to be. I appreciate your time. Let's see. Never caught your name. Felix Millstone. Pleased to make your acquaintance. See you around, See you Felix. around, boss. Going for a stroll around the docking. Base? All right. I'm guessing he's probably going to be one of our new companions. Maybe just not yet. Okay, quiet. Shh. God, you guys are so loud. Shh. I'm trying to get away with me. Light thievery in here. Okay, we're good. I uh, was doing nothing in there. Don't worry about it. I always feel weird in games like this where you don't <laughs> holster your weapon. Um, don't want to do that right next to the Marda. That seems like a terrible idea. Also, inspection right this way. Oh. Let's see what do you have. Identification, please. There you go. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. Of course. But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Well, isn't this wonderful? The captain's done something to get on the board's bad side. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. <laughs> How do I get this resolved? You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His okay. office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. Okay, any idea why it was Access coming? to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. Hmm. Great. I'll go talk and straighten this out. You take the starch out of them? Well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Sure. Wanda Dorset over in sickbay? Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. <laughs> Okay, thanks. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? Nope, you've been more than helpful. Uh, looking for someone named Defense. Gladys. There you go. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Okay. Make sure you bring an empty belly. Uh, okay, tell me He's about it. He's friendly all. enough unless you speak ill of the board. Get the sense he doesn't care for Groundbreaker much. Not that he would, being a board man and all. He's our liaison. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so there's tension between Groundbreaker and the board. They can't abide an independent township, especially not one they got to depend on. We're the first and last stop out of this colony. All their interstellar freighters come through us, and we skim a few bits off the top and manifest processing fees with every one. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments anytime we like, and that terrifies them. Hmm. Yeah, your station's in a state of disrepair. You can make the board fix it. You mean the heat? Sure, we could make them fix it. But what would they do in retaliation? They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. We push them too hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. The board wouldn't do that, would they? The board is necessary to provide order to the colony. They believe it's their prerogative to overrun you. But whether you allow that is up to you. It's a tough line to walk, no doubt about that. But we may do all right. So far, anyway. Hmm. See, the board runs most of the system, don't they? Yep. Groundbreaker's the only real independent port. Aside from us, there's just tramp freighters and wildcat miners. Seems like every year the board's offices get bigger and their ships take up more of the landing base. 
Hmm. Haven't seen nearly as many tramp crews this year. Okay. Well, thanks sure for the thing. info. All right. Let's see. Can I find a job? Maybe. Most of the shipping traffic in the system passes through Groundbreaker. Every couple of months, we even get a big interstellar freighter. Two biggest operations are the board. That is, Halcyon Holdings and Sublight Salvage. But there are independent operators around the promenade deck. So we gotta go promenade. Most of those jobs are gonna take you off station, though. Well, of course. Let's see. I didn't think there were many independent Relative operators. Relative to the board holdings? Not really. But there's a few with the means to go where they will. They aren't rich, but they aren't likely to look too close at your work history, either. Okay. All right, that's all I know right. about work. And see Be you around. You. All right, so let's see here. Let's go and get some ammo. Get ammo. I've been sufficient bits. Oh no. Oh, I need to sell all my junk. Now I'll have sufficient pits. Okay. How many Adrenos? Let's buy... Five. Uh, and fun times barrel. Ooh, critical damage. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I'll buy that. What's this? Officer spine. Nice. Um, what kind of damage is that? Oh, bleed. Okay, why is it green? <laughs> All right. That's not bad. 700. Let's see. I'll just wait and see. I, I can probably... I'm, I'm making do just fine with the weapons I have. What do you have? Uh, you're just a bunch of... Okay, Mr. Power. There's a damage mod. Plasma or short grip. Ooh, so melee weapon durability. Nice. Pick that up. And the rest we'll see what we get. I don't know if we'll really need to buy too many weapons and armor. Just because there should be enough of that. Um, should be enough of that going around. Let's see. Ooh, there you go. That looks fun. Okay. This weird signal the other day, it was coming from Monarch. Here we go. Uh, no one lives on Monarch. It's a wasteland. You were hearing I things. I stole that right in their line no, of sight. No, seriously. There was a lot of static at first, but then this voice said his name was Graham? Graham, right. Broadcasting on a dead world full of monsters. Now I've heard everything. I wonder if this is a quest. You know, it takes more muscles to frown than to smile. <laughs> I told you that, Graham. <laughs> And here's the promenade. Be distracted by the glare of the adverts. Lots of unsavory types about. Now it's 12% more fresh. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, okay. This place is sweet. Well, there's lots of just like random sparks and stuff. <laughs> A little bit more than I like. All right, here's the rest and go. I think they said there was some stuff in here. Upstairs room? We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for so How do you do? And uh, welcome to the rest and go. We used to be the go and rest, but folks never knew when to leave. Sorry. <laughs> Business has been slow. Anything to occupy the oh, time. Milo. See, I'm looking for Gladys. Oh, you can't miss her. Right behind you, number two. First unit on the left, or second unit from the right, depending on which direction you count from. Okay. How's life on the groundbreaker? Fine, as long as the board keeps its grubby mitts to itself. Which they never do. Chief Tennyson holds the ship together, the promenade holds our economy together, and Sublight is the shoddy jewel in our rusty old crown. Wonderful. 
Let's see, how does Groundbreaker creep? Keep, <laughs> keep the board at bay. Our chief Tennyson has an independent streak, same as her mother and grandmother who rode this ship on the crossing. There's a reason the board's embassy is a glorified shoebox. While Junlei Tennyson lives and breathes, Groundbreaker remains free. Okay, you mentioned sublight. Our local garbage collectors. That Lilia Hagen never met a debris field she didn't like. She freely admits she planted her roots in Groundbreaker to escape board oversight. But I think there's more to it. She's unusual in the head, that one. Right. Let's see, do you do business with the Promenade Merchants? Of course. Most of our supplies come and go through merchants. Company ships and salvage runs are the only traffic we tend to get. I try and steer clear of that creepy fellow in the moon mask. If there's a cost to being a company man, he paid it in spades. Moon mask, okay. I'll be on my way. What moon mask? Ooh. Whoops, sorry about that. <laughs> All right, look at the trash. Like I said, we're just gonna cube it up and throw it in a corner. Come on now. Uh, I love you. Uh, let's see, who are you? News announcer. Bless okay. my heart. Oh, Gladys. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient or an oven. Just like store-bought. <laughs> Sounds like my cookies. Let's see. Phineas sent me, said you could send, sell me a nav key to Stellar Bay. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Mm -hmm. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now, right. I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Yep, tell me about the job. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little moral flexibility. Mm -hmm. That would be me. Might be this could help out the groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... Nope. Let's hear details. Do you know Edna over in engineering? I don't yet. Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is... It came from an outpost called Roseway. And Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Okay. So a radio transmission from a supposedly abandoned area. All right. Uh, why was it abandoned? Can't say I know for sure. Maybe it never really was. Sounds like someone poking into somewhere they shouldn't be got into a spot of trouble. That is what it sounds Com like. Comm centers don't operate themselves, Captain. Someone had to have sent that distress call manually. Those okay. corpses are cleverer than all get out. Might have been a ruse to keep the rest of the board from sniffing around. All right, say no more, I'm in. You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose for bits. I like that. Here's a copy of the SOS recording, complete with the coordinates. Perfect. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. Okay, abandoned outpost, corporate secrets, got it. Don't forget I'm to on come the find old Gladys when you're done. I will do that, Gladys. Uh, do you know about any other Might jobs? Might want to acquaint yourself with Junlei Tennyson, Groundbreaker's chief. She's been trying to get a handle on this heat problem we've got. Okay. You'll find her fretting in engineering. I'd say she's a sweet girl, but law for fen someone call me a liar. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Do you have anything special for sale? I found a sale? handsome ceramic mandapillar at a salvage... Um... Bypass shunt, couple of mods... 
few plasma rifles. Nothing really all that crazy. That's nice. When I ever get to the point I could use that. How many, uh... Level 10 and 12,000 bits. <laughs> I have... I'm only shy 11,000 bits. No problem. No problem. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna take... I'm kidding. I'm not gonna take that. I'm just gonna hack into here. I'm kidding. Alright, so... Let's take a quick look at our journal here. That's, uh, huh, that's on Groundbreaker, okay. Okay, and then... Where's the engineering? Here it is. Nope. There we go, drinking sapphire wine. Let's do that. I'm feeling there might be some, ooh. What's this? I can steal one. Oh, no, there's nothing in there. Hey. Oh. I jumped. Grabbing everything. Nice. All the stuff. I can't get into those, though, which is unfortunate. Get into that. Alright, no one should be able to stop. Can you stop opening the door? If no one can see me, it shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Hopefully. Hopefully that's how it works. Okay. okay I'm just gonna come over here and sell some stuff, don't mind me. Okay. Well, that's not the equipped one, right? I don't think that's the equipped one, so I'll sell that one. Have two shot cannons. I can sell one of those. Alright, perfect. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can go introduce Pavardi to this engineer. 